Are you looking for a rear living room, 30 foot camper with two entrance doors? Well, stay tuned. I think I've got the perfect camper for you. Welcome back again, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy here at Southwind RV in Richmond Hill, Georgia. And here we're today, we're gonna to be showing you the 2025 Imagine 2500 RL by Grand Design. Now, all the specs and uh, will be down below as, as well as my contact information. Uh, any questions, comments, put them down below and I'll make sure I get back to you. Although you could reach out to me as well, but let's get onto this camper. Now, before I get started, I want to just point out one thing with Grand Design, which I love, is this yellow sticker that you find on their doors. Not only is it giving you the cargo carrying capacity, but it also gives you the actual length of the camper. So this one here is 29 foot, 10 inches. Now I know online it says 29 foot, seven inches, but I think that's a change. This is a 2025, I'm not sure. If there's a change, I'm still waiting on an answer. So pretty much the same things that you have seen uh, from before. You're gonna still have that motor front cap, three quarters of that, then with the rock shield down below, power tongue jack with the two um, LP bottles. Let me show you something different on those LP bottles, which I love. So I'm not sure whether they're doing this on all of them, but I did notice it on a few of these. You see the little gauge. So now you don't have to wait to look here, see where it says it's red. You'll be able to see it here. So you'll be able to actually look through the top of the LP cover to see if your tanks are still have LP in them or if they're empty. And that way there then you'll be able to switch this thing over to the other tank. Seven way plug, you can plug that in here. That way there you're not getting water in it while you have it stored on the outside so it's protected. Um, of course, you have your specs on this side. I'll have that stuff down below for you. See, I love how wide the doors are. So this door is pretty much the same uh, depth as the wall, giving you additional insulation. They're not the thin doors like you see on so many others. Now, you do have a light here. This will be for your lights here on the front, as you can see. Keep those off when you're camping and you have people in front of you. Those things are very bright and can be quite annoying. But uh, as you can see, that is a sensor light, so it'll have a sensor on both sides, and then at least you get light throughout the hole underneath here. Now, of course, you have, for the solar panel, you have the charge controller here. You do have a solar disconnect. That way there, when you're plugged into power, you can just shut that off. Uh, just leave that on when you're not using it, and you can turn off your battery disconnect. So your battery doesn't drain, but yet it still gets charged. Of course, for your cable, antenna, stuff like that, 110 outlet. Uh, water connection, you go ahead and fill your fresh water tank from here. Make sure before you switch this to filling your tank, make sure you shut it off and make sure there's no pressure on the line. You don't wanna mess that up. Outside shower, both hot and cold. Now folks, this is important. This here is where you're gonna be bringing your water hose up uh, as well as your cable. Get yourself some brass wool and put it in there. Otherwise, you'll have critters coming up through there. That's the last thing you want doing, coming into your camper. Leave it in there when you're not using it as well and then slide this thing closed. Protect yourself, folks. Uh, one of the largest um, storage bins on a travel trailer on the market, that's for sure. And by the way, this is prepped for the inverter. Very easy for you if you're gonna be doing your own winterization. It's right behind this panel and they have the instructions right there for you. Now, you can fill your fresh water tank from here or you could fill it from here. This is your manual one. Now, when you're filling it up, there is gonna be an overflow and you can always tell whatever side this thing's on, wherever this is on your camper, look right below it because that's where your fresh water tank is and that is where your pull is gonna be, as you can see. And then somewhere on here, let me get on the other side, see if we can see it better. So, then you can see those two blue lines there coming out of the, um, the underneath belly there. That is where your overflow is for your fresh water tank. So when it's full, you'll see water shooting out there. Now you also have this here. I like how they have this set up. You can put your hose in from either side. 
which makes it nice. You have the manual stabilizers. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about you, but I prefer these. I use it as electric because I just go ahead and put a, a three quarter inch socket on here and, and a screw gun, put them down. I've got a six by six under them. You're going to be able to, then I'll go ahead and get the handle out and I'll put a little extra pressure on it. You can't do that. It's very difficult to put that weight on the electric and you're at the mercy of that. So, I, you know, everybody has their own pluses and minuses to talk about with that, but that's just me. Now, you can see how you have a light here on this side. So, way there, if you're out here, I know you're never going to show up at a campground when it's dark out, but just in case you did, they do have a light, so you're going to be able to see where you're supposed to be uh, putting out, uh, hooking your sewer hose on there. You'll be able to see how much room you have to put your slide out, out. And then on the back here, this is where you'd be hooking up your electric. Now this one is a 50 amp. You can actually put two ACs on this now. I know in 2024 they did not have uh, equipped for 50 amp. Hitch receiver on the back, that is just for weight carrying. It is not for towing. It, it is wired and framed for that Furion rear observation camera. It is not just a backup camera. Uh, your ladder, ladder is rated at 300 pounds, as you can see right there. Let's get on the roof and show you what's on the roof. So as you see, here's your roof. Now, this one only has the one AC on it, but it is already set up for the second AC, so you're able to install that. You have a 180-watt solar panel, and notice it is a crowned roof. That way there, the water's running off. You're not having it um, puddling up up here. Now, back on the door side, uh, of course, you have another entrance. You got an entrance door. Well, I say, well, access door. To your storage underneath here has 110 outlet if you need to you can charge things in here magnetically held in place notice it was just one hand that i was using um, these doors are they have a friction hinge so they're not going to be slamming in high winds i personally would not use this because all too often i see people it's latched and you know you're outside here and you see the doors open and you just walk over here and you're just going to go ahead and pull it and then what's gonna happen is, not only you're gonna break this, but you can be pulling this out of here. So, highly recommend you don't even use that. If you're gonna put it open, just hold it there, close the screen, think you'll be good to go. Uh, on your door side here, by the way, I have a door in my bedroom like there. I probably hardly ever use it, so I'll just keep the steps put away. Uh, sprayer port right here, so in case you need to rinse down your steps or whatever, you're able to do that. If you want to go ahead and uh, connect the TV out here, you can. Now, you notice there's not a mount on the wall. That is possible. I would highly recommend you have a professional do that, though. Furnace is where your furnace is. Nice thing with this kind of furnace. The beautiful thing about that is if they're going to work on it, they're taking it out of your camper. They're not doing it on the inside. And then, of course, you have your Furion on-demand water heater. Now, here there's a lot of issues when it's raining and so forth. Now, one of the... Uh, ways of solving that problem is you know like a screen that you would put over here around one they're saying if you put a round one over there that'll solve that problem 98 percent of the time um, right under here this is where you have your uh, lp quick connect so that way there you're able to go ahead and um, connect to lp a griddle or so forth out here and then you see this whole hole right here that is for your slide mechanism which is it's right here so in the event that it wasn't working, you just put that, you get a crank that you put on there and you can either bring it in or put it out. So that's that. Now you have another one that's right here, another hole. This one is for your spare tire. The same thing, you had a crank right there, spare tire is there. So let me just give you a preview of the underneath. So you can see it completely sealed and enclosed underbelly. Now you do have the step above steps in the back. You don't in the front. Um, I kind of like that in mine because I hardly ever use them anyway. So I can just keep those put away. Because um, that would be a pain if I had the step above, I'd have to have it out. And sometimes it's in my way uh, for what I'm doing. So having these steps put in a way, it's out of sight, out of mind. So let's get in. Oh, by the way, I didn't go over this. Also, I do love the fact, let me get on this side here, 
that they go ahead and put that center awning support right there for the awning. Now you see it does have the LED light strip. You can see there I just turned it on. Don't get too excited about that folks. Trust me, that thing's across both of these doors here and that attracts bugs. So that will be an issue when it's bug season. So but let's get inside and check this thing out. Like I said, it's a rear living room. Now you have some options with this and the options are this. You can put recliners in the back or you can have the pull out sofa. You can have a dinette booth, a U-shaped dinette booth. Let me show you what that would look like. Now that is about what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be a little different in the Imagine. This is in a Transcend. So, but that's what a U-shaped dinette looks like. The benefit of that, it gives you one long, so if you decided you wanted recliners in the back, you could put U-shaped dinette, that makes a, a bed for you which would be pretty long. And my wife and I have slept on a bed that size before, or a dinette booth that size. Uh, you know, it's okay for maybe a night or two, but that's about it. But you don't want to make your guests too comfortable. Otherwise, they'll come with you all the time. So now, if you do get the recliners in the slide out, then you get this table. Now, this table can be set at three different heights. So you can have it as a coffee table. You can have it at the height of um, of just like, so you can sit there and eat, eat on it, or you can actually, it'll go up even higher, so it'll be more like it's a counter height. So that's the nice thing with that. And the beauty of that is that in the event that you don't want to use it on the inside, you can go ahead and just keep it on the outside. Now on this recliner, all three of these do recline. However, the middle section does fold down you put cups on that on the back you're gonna have a nice little night light or well so like a little night light there sensor that way there as you're coming in and out of the door you're actually gonna be able to see where you're going you've got a one at 110 outlet on that side as well as this side cabinets up above your uh, sofa there and it's the full full length all the way across as you can see it's going all the way across and the you don't have to use your head to hold those doors up. Blackout shades all throughout. And the fact is, the beautiful thing about this, this does not have the frameless windows, but the benefit to you is, if you, on a day like today, you wanna to open up the windows, just have a breeze coming through, look at how big those windows are. Now that gives you another escape hatch. There's another escape hatch back here, but look at all these windows that you're able to open just in this area then you've got one in the bedroom as well and then your doors notice the lights are in the ceiling it's a crown ceiling it is a ducted ac and then of course you can put a second ac in the bedroom for yourself uh, 12 volt connection there good size 12 volt refrigerator freezer By the way, same refrigerator I have, and I'll tell you, it's done, it's done well for me. Uh, your AC for here is going to be controlled right here. This will be the, this will control your AC and your furnace. Now, if you end up putting an AC in here, as you can see, it's wired and framed for it. Then what happens is somewhere on this wall, they'll go ahead and put the thermostat for this air conditioner. Now, while we're in this room, let's go ahead and talk about this. This is a queen bed. It's a walk around queen. You do have storage up underneath here. And then this will slide back and forth. You can pull it out if you wish to. Um, but residential queen bed, you've got your nice little cubbies on either side there. You've got reading lights. Now these reading lights, you can have them where they're blue or you can have them where it's, where it's white. So this blue, and if you just hold on to, oh, just push it a second time, you can see it's a reading light. So that's that. Now on either side, you're gonna have a little, little drawers and a little hanging area. And then of course, that goes all the way over to the other one as well. So that's back here in the bedroom. Now, of course you have the door. The beautiful thing about this too is of course you have the window on the other side. You can put a TV up there, put it on a swivel. It's the pocket doors. Now the benefit of the pocket doors is this. With them open, they're not in your way, and then you're gonna notice how much wider the doorway is. 
Now you might be saying, well, Paul, geez, I don't like having a walk-through bath because, you know, if I have company, here's the beautiful thing. You have company, they're sleeping there. All right, you're taking turns getting up to go to the bathroom at night. You know, I mean, as you get older, you got to do this stuff. All you're going to do is they're sleeping there. You close this door. When you're done, just open it back up. You don't have to latch it because, you know, that's only for travel. And that way there, if they come in here in the middle of the night, they're just going to go ahead and unlatch your door and they're able to go ahead and pull this. But here's the other beauty of this particular area. Picture this. You're in here, this door's closed, right? Look at all that room that you have. You can set your clothes on the bed. You've got your towel on the floor. Look at all that room that you have to get ready. You know, that's the beautiful thing about it. And you still have pretty good storage, counter space. You've got a window. You've got a little a vent fan on the roof. Now, I know people, people either love these or they hate them. I can tell you, I never used mine, did not like them, but I just put a uh, spring bar on the inside, hung a curtain. On the outside, I went ahead and put another spring bar, and I put a decorative curtain. That's how I solved that problem. Now, after I had a shower leak underneath my shower, I just took it off and left it off. Um, nice, these are nice and deep. You can put towels and, you know, shampoo, soaps, things of that nature in there. I like the fact that they're finally connecting these things on the bottom so they're not getting kinked like they would when they came off the top, which is nice. Uh, this uh, little tub uh, part in the back, the bottom there, that's a little deeper than most. And then, of course, you've got to check out the especially imported Italian tile that they get. They've got a quite of a uh, product going on there. So finishing out the kitchen, I know we kind of jumped ship here, went, in the, went in, the, um, in the bedroom. In the kitchen here, you've got the counter extension. You've got to make sure that you put that down when you're bringing the slide out in. But notice how you could leave that up while you're camping. It's not in the way of the refrigerator. This refrigerator could open all the way. And you still have plenty of room to get by there. I mean, that's like the normal width of a door in a camper. Um, outlets are down below. This pulls up for your USB ports. You push it down. Plenty of lighting. Uh, of course, you do have you have your light on from there, or if you put it on the other side, you see how it's on here and down there. Something from a safety standpoint, notice how it turned red. That way there, you'll see that before you smell the LP. In mine, it just stays blue. Okay? So, but the beauty of it, even if that was off and you turn that, you see it's red as well. Now, storage drawers, you're going to have this one here, that one there. So you got two nice little storage drawers. Now here's where you've got, you've got nice storage there and good storage there. Look at all that storage. Then you're going to have a nice pots and pans drawer right here with these pegs. You can set them up however you want. Now, this is a little small, but it's still usable space. And then instead of having the open door for this, they went ahead and put the drawers for you. What do you think of that? You like that better than having where it was just, you just set things on the inside? Beautiful thing of that, you're not worrying about that heat duct. Notice they have a heat duct back there. One here, there'll be one in the bathroom and one in the bedroom. Uh, benefit of the heat ducts there, they're blowing across your floor. They're not in the floor like some of the other brands collecting all that dust and so forth i can tell you my camper is a little bit uh, longer than this and we can't even use the heater because in our opinion it gets too hot we just use an electric heater uh, to warm things up when we need it um, storage above you have this that goes all the way back that one doesn't because there'll be something from the outside there and then of course here so that's everything from a storage standpoint. Microwave, fan, nice big TV. By the way, that TV will pull out and swivel so you can see it from the sofa. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the 2025 2500 RL Imagine by Grand Design. What are your thoughts? You liking it? Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and uh, I'll be back at you again soon. Take care.